Hey you guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to resolve some of uh, the issues of the G Feutech G6 Plus 3-axis motorized gimbal. And I'm not going to do a full review or anything like that. You could probably find several on YouTube. But if you want my opinion, I give it 8 out of 10 stars. It's um, a pretty well-built gimbal, it's affordable, and it has a high payload capacity. Uh, the reason why it doesn't get a perfect score... Oh, and it also has uh, quite a few nice functions too. And the reason why it doesn't get a perfect score is because of the nuances that I will help, to help you to resolve. So the first one is before you even turn on the gimbal, you had to balance it that way it could, uh, once you turn it on it could cal uh, cal calibrate correctly and uh, perform uh, properly so let's start let's get started with that so you're going to want to mount your camera with all of its all of its accessories on there and then also turn on if it's a point-and-shoot camera, turn it on so the lens will pop out. So once you have that going, the first part of the calibration involves the x-axis. So this axis uh, should be perpendicular, or actually, to be more specific, this bar should be parallel with the flat surface right here. So to calibrate that, there's a knob right here where you can loosen it up and then you could adjust the bar by moving it forwards or, or backwards. So if you move it backwards, it might even come up like that. If you move it too far forward, it might go down like that. So you try to find the sweet spot. And don't worry if it's not perfect. So it looks pretty balanced right there. So don't worry if it takes you a while the first time around. Um, once you start doing it, you'll get you'll do it, you'll be able to calibrate it a lot quicker. So the next calibration is what I call the y-axis. So it's this bar, and this bar should be also parallel to the flat surface as well. And the knob to loosen and uh, tune the bar is right, located right here, so I can loosen it. And if I move the bar to the left too much, the gimbal will lean to the left. And if I do it to the right, it'll lean to the right. So once again, you're going to have to try to find that sweet spot. And that looks like it's pretty parallel. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. So we're almost through with the calibration. The last one is the Z axis, which is this right here. So you're going to want this to point uh, to have, uh, you want to calibrate this so your camera will point forward. So if you don't do it correctly, it might lean forward or backwards like that. So let's see if I can calibrate it or let's see if I can find that sweet spot. I'm not quite there yet, I'm not quite there yet. So if you can't 
get it to get the camera to point straight. Um, a fourth option is the plate right here. You can move the camera forward or backwards and it will adjust the balancing as well. So I think that it's good enough to balance. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the gimbal on so it could calibrate itself. It's going to vibrate and it calibrates. So now the gimbal's pretty much adjusted and you can move it around pretty smooth. So now comes the second issue that you may want to resolve. Sometimes if you're panning too quickly um, and other users have complained that there's motor noise for that. It's not doing it now because I calibrate it pretty well, but, oh, well, there you go. You could hear that motor noise. So if you hear that, so that's going to really affect the audio quality. So if you have a microphone and you're recording um, and that motor noise comes, it's going to be really uh, loud. Uh, on, loud and you're going to have to, use, in post-process, uh, post-production post work, you're going to have to uh, take that noise out using the Audacity uh, software. But... Before you even have to do that, you can go to your smartphone and get the download, what they call the Feiyu On app. So you, once you have that on, it will Bluetooth connect to the gimbal. And then from here, touch on the top three lines and it'll pull up the settings. And then you're gonna want to go to motor strength. And then for motor strength, you can manually adjust it or pick the adaptation. From my experience, um, I try to put the access, I, I use a adaptation, but I found that if you put the access by each access at 50%, it cuts down on motor noise as well. So, but we're just going to go ahead and clip, click on adaptation. And it tells you adaptation operation will take effect after restarting the gimbal. So go ahead and click OK. All right. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the gimbal. It says disconnected. Now we're going to turn it on. And it, it's calibrated. Click on save. So now every time you turn on the gimbal, it's pre-saved and you don't have to uh, open, it, uh, open up the app on your phone. So now no motor no noise. So there you have it. Now you know how to... Um, balance the gimbal and also reduce the motor noise. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, leave any comments or questions below and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Later.